This is Ramped Up. Good evening, everybody. This is uh, Ramped Up, and this is our special NCAA March Madness edition. And uh, for such a big event, we brought in the whole panel today. We put out all the stops to give you the best show that we possibly can to see who's going to win it all in the big dance. So I'm going to start to induce, introduce everybody. It's going to start from left to right. This is Brad. We got him on mic. We got Will on drums. We got Parker on bass. We got Daquan on the tambourine. Um, myself, I'm on lead vocals. And then we got Sean here. He's our, our technical guru. We got Jack on keyboard. And then we got Adam on the flute. All right, boys. So we're going to go ahead and start with the uh, the South Conference, the South Bracket Conference. So uh, what do we what do we think? Uh, who's our who are our big names here in this uh, in this bracket? Okay. Of course, UVA. We got the number one overall seed, UVA, playing here. Just lost their sixth man of the year with a broken wrist. We also have a uh, A10 conference team, Davidson. <coughs> Davidson. Like they're gonna have possibly a big game against Kentucky. I feel like they could pull off the upset. Against Big Blue? Those young Wildcats. Who yeah. right oh, now is leading upset. the nation in three point percentage made. But it's the tournament. But it's the tournament. And I'm I mean, gonna I'm gonna go off Davidson, one hot. Parker, yeah, what do you got? Davidson is hot right now. They won eleven of their last thirteen, including the eighteen championship, which y'all guys like to go with tournament champion winners. And I remember watching them against Bonaventure. They won they literally their first six baskets of the game. All three pointers. Really? Oh, they were, they three were points are tough to be downtown. Maybe, <laughs> maybe they make it a Cinderella run, but they don't got Steph Curry. So yeah, they don't have Steph. Facts. This is the first time they've been since what? Oh nine? It's been a while since Davis has been. Yeah, it's, it's been, been, this. It's been so since Steph. Yeah, we're since Steph actually. It's but we're talking about we're talking about conference tournament champions, and Kentucky is one of those. Even though yeah. it seemed like they almost lost it a little towards the end in Tennessee, but I just think John Calipari in March. It's just tough to go against Big Blue, especially with. Uh, a lower conference uh, team, although I will say the A-10 is nitty and gritty. Mm -hmm. exactly. A lot of heart. And that grit heart. will drive further against Kentucky, who always plays against a lackluster conference in their own tournament. Definitely. So they basically come out every year as the winner of their own conference without any really other, other competition. That's Whereas Davidson, good. they have to face the light of likes of URI, Dayton, mm -hmm. plenty of other great teams. St. Bonaventure, too. You know, it's I'm just VCU, of course. You yeah, know, that's yeah. the team right there. The Rams. The Rams. I no think. War. I think they're going to run run for their money and pull the upset. Well, let me ask you all this question. So, if you're Davidson or Kentucky, who who do you think this game means more to? Oh, definitely. Davidson, Kentucky, that would give them definitely what's the word? It would momentum. Get, definitely momentum, and they would give them way more drive and just would, more more confidence in like throughout the whole entire yeah, you're whole right. tournament. Yeah. But it would give Davidson that swag that every team needs in this tournament. That 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 just that motivation to, that extra something that just drives them past another team like if possibly they'd have to, if they won that game, they'd have to face Arizona in the next round. But who they had be the like, best big man in the league. Oh, they for sure. Really? Sure. Sure. Best big man? No, actually, I think, no, 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 I don't, no, I would definitely take Marvin Bradley over John Jay. No. Yeah, but, but that's two different positions. That's like a 3 4 combo forward and a center. Aiden's a true center. He's just a big guy. He's a big boy. No, Bagley, no. he can stretch the floor, he can dribble off, he can drive off the dribble. It, they're they're kind of comparing two different games. And one last note on this Davidson team. You know, we still talk about years ago, VCU beating Kentucky in the NCAA tournament. That's true. That's why this win would mean so much more to this Davidson team, because it would give the fans something they'll continue to keep talking about for years. They'd that's say, very true. that's that yeah. same team that beat Kentucky in the first round and shut them out of the NCAA tournament. And, I mean, the way yeah. Davidson goes... They won't be back for another five years, so they gotta have something to talk about. <laughs> five years, right? Yeah, he's gonna come back, and we're not gonna hear from Davidson for a long time. But just to talk about recent history, I mean, University of Kentucky, that, that last time they won, that was kind of a lackluster team coming into March, and somehow it's just that recruiting and that talent brought it all together. I was mean, that an eight seed? Something like that? Yeah, it was. Yeah. So, I don't know, it's tough. But I will say, well, what's up with all the SEC teams in the bracket overall? There's a lot of them. Well, there's I more ACC. Yeah. There are yeah. more ACC, but I feel that's deserving. Those are some tough, Those tough very, games, close games, very, very, very competitive, a lot of upsets. Well, they did write an article about how between 2012 and 14, there was 28 teams that came from the non-big conferences in the NCAA. Mm. 
After that, there's been nine. Really? There's been nine teams from non-big conferences, so no, like, com- not um, the <coughs> SEC, ACC, Pac-12, Big East, Big 12, and Big, Big 10. There, none of those, none of those conferences are putting out except for below. except for the tournament winners. That's it. That's a big fact right there. That's a huge fact. I like that. facts like that. But I don't know. Well, so what do we think here? Does Buffalo have a chance of upsetting Arizona? No. Uh, I don't know about that. Uh, no. You're sure? No, no way. You're no. sure? Even Buffalo? Even though Arizona is under all that controversy, I feel like they're still going to be up this way. I don't know. Yeah. Buffalo, this is their third time in the tournament. They won, won the MAC. I don't know. they got they got some good coaching. Grand on bias. Don't get me wrong. Hey, oh, action. That's I our first like part they, of the show. I feel like they don't have any chance against this Arizona team. Yeah. No, exactly. There's two, yeah. two stats. Not with yeah. So the big upset in this region, Loyola, Loyola of Chicago. Loyola. Get out of here. They I, do. I believe that they can die. I wholeheartedly something. agree with you. How many Loyolas are there? There's a lot of Loyolas out there. I'm going to tell you, this is not that Chicago. big of an upset as you think. Right now, Miami is only a one point favorite over them in the opening odds. Really? So what makes Loyola such a good pick for this upset? They have the a reason actually it's really good, a better than team. Yeah, wow. there's a seniors. lot of guys. There's there a lot of seniors, a lot of people with good experience. And my, I actually know some that plays for Miami. His name is Chris Lex. He's a freshman. Um, even though he's really, really good, I just feel like, and he's most, he's kind of, I wouldn't say he's a leader, but he's definitely a facilitator in the team. Mm-hmm. When you're a freshman, you just don't have that March Madness experience. With these uh, this loyal Chicago team, they're gonna come in, know exactly what to expect, and have the drive to win. Yeah, well, so we got Jim Laranega at the helm in Miami, who also took George Mason. On that run, it's experienced coach. I, I think I also have Miami in this one. I just think ACC. It's the best tournament in bat or best uh, conference in basketball this season by far. I think with the Big Twelve in second probably for competitiveness. And it's just I think Miami has a good shot. They just got better recruiting. They've had a tougher schedule. And while they may not have the leadership that Loyola does, I think just that experience with coaching and just that premise and that swag that comes with playing for the U. It's going to really pay <laughs> off. It's really going to yeah, pay off. It's going to be a tough game. They probably won. Like, like, they got to win about three. 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 <laughs> you got to have faith in the underdog, though. Yeah. Having that much drive as being the underdog and being labeled as such, knowing you're going against that big conference team. So I actually have three upsets here in the first round for mm-hmm. this bracket. As do I. I have wow. Davidson. Loyola and Texas. Yeah. Texas. Texas. Oh, 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 we don't like those Texas boys. Oh, oh, we don't I, like Shaka like, Smart. Oh, I love them. Oh, I like Texas. I, I love them. Yeah. Yeah. Love, yeah. I love them. I like Texas boys. John, <laughs> no, I completely agree with you. Mo Bamba. It's a better choice than if LSU were to make the tournament. Mo Bamba has been great. We have also that extra incentive. I agree with him. I would hate LSU more in this tournament than I would Texas. Let's not even talk about LSU. They're not here. You know, he made a great switch over there. It's really paid off. For him so far, so FBI will uh, be calling. FBI has got your number, bud. <laughs> so make sure you pick up. They don't like going to voicemail. Anyway, but yeah, no, I think Texas is a great pick, and you also have that extra motivation with their uh, their teammate who's dealing what was it lymphoma or mm-hmm. some form of yeah. cancer. So yeah, yeah, they're starting guards. Yeah, they're definitely yeah. playing with a lot of passion in this one, a lot of heart, and like you've seen the difference in their team. record since then. They they swept Oklahoma. Like they've done well in the Big Twelve. So. That's a, that's not whoa, whoa, whoa! Much. Oklahoma had a had a good start, and I will say, like, just very good start. It's not how you start, it's how you finish. Yeah, oh, that's, that's very right. true. That's so true. I mean, also, how you finish in this tournament. Syracuse, you know, Syracuse, you know, Syracuse was solid. Tournament. Was also started out well, and then they were playing team. It's tough. It's tough. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's tough. I mean, it definitely shows between a team that relies on one player who actually has team chemistry, seniors, and works the system. So I completely agree. This. Not only one seed in the South, but the one seed in the tournament. How do you guys think UVA fares? I make it out. I think they're screwed against this. Arizona. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. That's, it's, that's I got faith for them, but it's the final four. Year. Virginia, Absolutely. I feel like just the, the time. I'm, I'm, I'm with you, Saquon. I'm with you. Yeah, even though they lost their ACC Six Man of the Year, one of their best players, they're going to have to face Aiton. They're going to have to face Bridges in Michigan State towards the end, I think. They're going to have to face... A bunch of good teams. Wait, is Kyle Guy still injured, or is he? A- no, he's Kyle Guy is playing. I mean, he hurt his knee. He's wearing a knee brace right now. But even though he hurt his knee, he's still averaging like twenty. He's been playing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this, 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 still, this, this is still the U.S. American team. that he's, we know. He's that he's won the ACC, the best yeah, right. conference in basketball. Yeah. <laughs> I, guess I mean, the, this guy. This talking. guy is literally <laughs> like Kyle Guy wearing a knee brace in the ACC championship game and still diving on the floor after loose balls like. The guy, he, he grinds everything. I 
Just grind it. Still have UVA winning it all. I did too. I have UVA wow. winning the, the championship game. I don't, know about I don't have that. them winning it all. I just don't Number know one defense that. in the nation. I just, that's very tough. I just don't. That's, how I compare this was kind of like um, the OKC team before they lost Harden. Imagine that team without Harden. That team would be a completely, not only completely different, but definitely not as good. Uh, not quite a fair comparison. I mean, that's just like in my you, a six man. A six man is a really is a really important position, and especially he wasn't just any normal six man. He was AC six man of the year. Mm-hmm. So that means he was really good. Yeah, AC. He's he's the six man of the year in the best conference in basketball. Yeah, that's but, true. Could the Rockets win without Eric Gordon? That's a good point. That's, that's a, a great question. That's a whole other conversation that's for our NBA special. That's another day. That's another day. <laughs> that's that's another, day. We'll that's that another special. <laughs> We're going to see if we can find room in the budget for it. Now it's <laughs> our next well, quarter. I just want to focus on something real quick. What Parker said about defense. There's an old saying. Offense wins games. Defense, defense wins, wins championships. championships. There we go. I like a team that, that averages true. giving up 53 points a game, and they played UNC, Duke, Virginia Tech, Miami, they played in tough, the best conference, teams. and I mean, Virginia Tech is underrated, but they had one they of the best defense. offenses. And Virginia Tech has one of the best offenses in the they do. Buzz well, Williams, well, no joke, as well as well over eighty-three points a game. It's tough. They were able to hold UVA to phenomenally low scoring in two matchups they had, and that second match they were able to pull away the win. I think Virginia Tech is insanely underrated, but I still don't see them going way too far in the tournament. All right, anybody All right. got Georgia State winning? No. no. At all, not even a chance. No. Cincinnati, I thought about it, man. I thought they played it. such great defense. They uh, they averaged points scored against them 58. I have, I have Cincinnati in my final a game. lot of seniors. Yeah, I think I think Cincinnati could make it to the lead eight and maybe have a chance of upsetting UVA. I think Shocker gets them. Really? Yeah, Texas. As do I. Does he Does he bring the havoc? I did. Play. I don't. Yeah, uh, yeah, maybe. I have Cincinnati beating <laughs> Texas just because of guard play. Yes. With their with Texas's guard dealing with the lymphoma, he was one of their better players, mm-hmm. and he just like eliminates their guard play. That's very true. I think since he gets them. You know, there's also uh, I don't know a lot of experts say that when it comes to March to make a, a big strong run, you have to have excellent guard play. And that's what happened when uh, Duke won their last championship. They had an excellent guard play. Yeah, and that's what sent them there. Even Texas, UNC last. Texas season. is also playing off motivation from one of their players being gone, so I think that will kind of motivate them to kind of. I do get weird gut feelings every year. I have Miami going to the Elite Eight. I know that's a dumb decision, but I no, I can see it. We'll see. I do have really gut feelings it. every year. I got Tennessee couple. against UVA in that uh, Elite Eight right there. I can wow. see those. Well. I can see. I can see I that. The volunteers. They, they play very good defense too. as well. Yeah, yeah, very I good think. defense. A lot of seniors. And you want to know something? I think Loyola knocks Tennessee out of the tournament to get to the Sweet 16. Get out of here. That would be some uh-huh. Sweet 16? I would like to see okay, that. I love the upset. Hey, that. y'all all know how that 11 seed magic works. Yeah, yeah that's, that's very true. true. Yeah. Oh. I'm going to be in Tennessee, oh. man. I, can't, I, can't <laughs> I mean, all right, so if we go back to 2011, if we go back to last year, Xavier. Oh, Made it yeah, to the Elite yeah. Eight. That's fast. That 11 seed yeah. has magic. But Xavier, for like my bracket. For like Xavier, they didn't bust the bracket. They don't bust the bracket. the brackets for most people in America. Yeah. That's Won't bust cool. mine because I got it right there for you. <laughs> All, right. <laughs> All right. Last comments on our uh, South Conference, our South Bracket. Anything else? Uh, I, I, I got faith in Shaka. You know what? I'm gonna go with a bold call. I'm gonna I'm gonna say Cincy. I, th- I have good feelings about them. They won uh, they won I their conference. A lot of seniors play great ball, and like also against University of Houston and Wichita, both ranked teams. Wichita State. I've got Just don't don't against UVA though. I got UVA coming out. Yeah. I like that. UVA is probably my two. I just can't trust Arizona. I just don't think they have the history, and I think the Pac-12 is very weak as a conference, and that will show. I Pretty think that Arizona is gonna get hurt based because of all that. Uh, investigation stuff that's going on, too much distraction right. in a time where they need as minimum of distractions as they can get. Exactly. And I think that they slip up against defense. You gotta have your head in this. But if they win, that'll just show how great they are at canceling out all, all that noise around them. Yeah. I feel like they're talented enough that they can still have those distractions and still win. Well, they were voted number one sleeper team to win it all this year in America. Mm, so, I don't know, I man. I think distraction will be know. minimal enough for them to beat Buffalo, but I haven't lived in Kentucky. I got a lot of old teams, but there's another one. Uh, what is it? Hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard. And I think Cincinnati <laughs> is really definitely going to embody that and this bring man, it. This man, he's saying everything. <laughs> I got a lot of sayings. <laughs> All the cliches in the book. Yeah, yeah every yeah, cliche yeah. my Little League coach told me. <laughs> he's got it. All right, really let's move to the West, guys. Absolutely. All right. 
Like Xavier, easy. Yeah, that's yeah, an easy, yeah, dub. Yeah, yeah. easy I dub. Easy dub. That's my first one seed being out there. Me too. Yeah, I do too. I think they're the weakest. I think that Missouri beats them. I think uh, Porter. Oh, I do. I, I, I got Florida State beating Missouri. No, I got Florida State. I got Florida State. Yeah, yeah. I got Florida State winning. I got Missouri winning. Missouri winning. Got Missouri winning. Got Porter is gonna come out and he's gonna show what what he why he's the number one player in the league in the oh my God. NCAA. But I feel like that won't last more than a round. I think it'll get them past Xavier, and it won't make it out of the Sweet Six. I, 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 I thought the same I, thing. I, I, thought the yeah. I thought the I same thing, four, but again, then, using that like veteran mentality, uh, Florida State has well, way more experience in, in March Madness. In yeah, they got that big seven footer too. Yeah, they're a the huge seven footer, and also what's it? Um, I don't know. This is another gut feeling for me. I just feel like they're kind of like not underdog, but they're just. It's just one of those um, games like. Well, see, like, eight, eight, nine seeds yeah, are it's always it's tall. It's, it's a coin flip. Air. Flip the coin. You know, it's a coin flip, in my opinion, then the tails, and I'm going to pick tails. That's going to be a... Uh... Tails never fails. Well, I don't know. We're just, well, well, so going back to ACC game. basketball, Florida State and the ACC, they've had some quality wins, and it's been tough, and it's been close. So I think that's going to really edge them out, you know, because Missouri's good, but SEC, I I just can't. It's great that they have a, a great kid, you know, a great player who's probably going to draft. I just think coming off of injury, and he's, he's, he's he came in, he came in, as the number one player, number one high school player, he got hurt. He really didn't do anything, and he wants to declare this year. He's got something to prove. Yeah, of course, yeah. And if you're going to prove it, Tall when players. is the best time to prove it? Yeah. March. Against the ACC. They're pushing him down. Against the ACC team, and then against number one seed Xavier. We'll see. And it I sets think, him up very well to do that. And, and if, if he wants to be a top, target in the draft. If he wants to be a top ten pick, if he declares this year, he's got to start showing it right now. They're, yeah. they're pushing like him down that draft board. So Yeah, he because like he six. hasn't been here all year. Yeah, it took him that whole spot over. So, so the next big match: Ohio, Ohio State, State and South Dakota State. Iowa Ohio Ohio five State. versus the twelve. No, like five Ohio versus the twelve. Is this is my match of yeah. upset yeah. of the bracket. Again. South Dakota State. All right, they got a big guy. I think it's like six seven, two hundred fifty pounds center. Yep. He's a he's a beast. Averages a double double a game. Twenty points a game. Yeah, a lot of seniors, and they've won I think a, like eleven out of their last twelve games. So they're coming in hot, red hot. I can see them coming in hot, and also Ohio State had a pretty uh, they floundered expected season. I mean, they were like expected to be last in the Big Ten this year. Yeah, but they, they were really run. yeah they were really good. I do think that yeah they're gonna. I mean, I do see them getting by. But I do think their tournament ends. In no, I got them beating them. Yeah, oh, I'll say in my just opinion, off the March like you have to encounter that. It's gonna be that one team that's that's right or high and they slip up soon in the first round. Right. And, and if we're talking about experience here, it's just Ohio State hasn't been in this tournament in quite a few years since so. they beat uh, since they beat VCU. Yeah, like, since uh, years the Andrew Russell. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Russell. yeah. What, yeah. You yeah. what you broke? What you broke? Most Going on experience, <laughs> Zaga. Rip Mo. I still think that if Briante Weber would have been there, BC would have won that game. Oh, oh no, yeah, no, 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 yeah. yeah. Because Briante, Bri, a healthy brief fence before he even blew out his knee against D'Angelo there Russell. Was nothing like it, man. I, I, yeah, I don't, I don't see Ohio State winning that game Best because the only reason they the won it was D'Angelo Russell went off at like thirty-five. Yeah, that was that was crazy. I was watching. I was actually watching it in one of my classes. And yeah, Jaquan Lewis just—he was not ready for D'Angelo Russell, not at all. Not at all. He got thrown into the fire quick. Yeah. But uh, going off of experience, how about uh, Gonzaga Greensboro? I have Gonzaga to the Final Four. They. I have got Gonzaga the to the uh, to the Elite Eight. I agree with that. I would agree with the Elite Eight. It's just Gonzaga, one of those other teams that gets a lot of good recruits, a lot of good talent, and just comes around tournament time. Hot. Can't do it. They just can't finish. You got. Finish. Yeah. So how you start? So you finish. There you go. We see it. Mark you. Let and me you. tell you. You know what I got? I got. I got Houston. You know, Case Keenum got paid this past week. He's a U of H alum, all-time leading NCAA passer. I think he's gonna bring a little mojo to University of Houston. I think. I, I think it's see him in the Elite Eight. I've Houston. I have San Diego State. State knocking him yeah, off. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I believe that Mountain West teams. I believe San Diego State grow. is good did, against. Did you top watch teams. that game against Wichita State? All right, they're down. Wichita State goes ahead. They have the ball with like 20 seconds left. Like University of Houston holds them to that and ended up winning it. It was it was unprecedented. They are a tough, gritty team. But didn't they lose in their conference tournament? Yeah, they did. All right. <laughs> <laughs> we only love conference got, tournament they, champions here. We only like them. <laughs> yeah, we only love conference tournament champions here. Yeah, that's what I mean. I still right Yeah, you have Michigan right there. Well, that's UNC. That was a tough game, and that's I a tough can't, team. I can't waver against my team, but, you know. Hey, you Other than that, though. No. 
Other than UNC. Let's talk about what Michigan a little bit, man. Big Blue. Yeah, Big Blue. blue. We Cotton support fire. you. Jordan Cotton Cotton Speaking about, uh, t- uh, what is it, uh, divisional tourney winners, you know, winning their yeah, uh, back winning the big time. First time since. I think, I think it's such a mouth Bonner, yeah, Bonner is uh, the He's boy. A guard, but I feel yeah. like their one problem is going to be they're going to have a little too easy of a game against Montana and then come up against this Houston team. I feel nah, like that's going to be a good point. Why the are you counting out by San Diego State? That's the SU. What's that SU? San Diego State will do it. You think they're going to top you in all week? You think they're going to top you in a week? They're in a week conference. Week, week conference. That's bold. Well, how about it? Didn't UNC and uh, University of Michigan play earlier this year? What? Yeah. I, I think they did, yeah, the, the ACC was, Big Ten. And won, UNC uh, won by 15 was, points, right? Yeah, but Michigan was came off slow during the season. That got they definitely high. did. They, they have the momentum. Well, that, how, who's to say that doesn't follow them finish. playing the weaker team to start with? Mo Wagner is one of the hottest players in the country right now. We're probably one of the most confident freshmen with Jordan. At the same so. time, this UNC team that won a tournament uh, last year, so they have they have that pedigree, they have that but experience. They They've won, been here before. They they're they're very familiar. Series, they won the yeah, conference tournament. They have a player. Jeez. Did they win the conference tournament? They did not. They did not. But I'm just saying, like, the best team in the country. What did Michigan do last year? We didn't want to be number one. Yeah, <laughs> the, fact yeah. Beat, the fact that beat Duke in that tournament is a lot. I think that was a that was a big statement. That's just saying it's like I'm, we're we'll get, to that later. we'll get to that later. I'm just not impressed with this Duke team this year. I'm, I'm, Other I'm than Bagley, I, I just don't I think have they have feel a, it. Like on paper, they look good, and it comes to game day, and they just can't put it together. There's no I chemistry. Feel, there's no good I've been watching them yeah. play. I've been watching them play the past like let's say three weeks. They've improved a lot more than the beginning of the season. Beginning of the season, you could tell that they really weren't just like a, that good of a team. Now you can tell like Trayvon Duvall is a great facilitator. They know he's like okay, if I don't, I'm not gonna get to Bradley, I'm gonna get to Gary Trent so we can score. His three point percentage has been really good in the past few games. So I, in my opinion, I think Duke's gonna go really far. I think if they do it, man. Grayson Allen needs to step up and stop being, being a little. Grayson Allen. <laughs> stop tripping. Whoa, 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 whoa! That was not that was his last, worst that foul. Was last, that was not that was his worst last. foul. Ever. Okay, the hit check was not his worst. Like, come on, man. man. Like, come on. But you I will, have a history of being. Yeah, a dirty but at the same player. time, if any other player had done that, I don't think it would be held in the same regard. Well, because the same that's same because history. he doesn't have a history. Well, like, exactly. Like, but at the same time, when do we see a foul? We'll get to that when we come. We'll get there. Let's finish the rest of the year. A and M Providence. I, Providence. 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 I think Providence could upset. I think I have Providence, I have Providence too. I have Providence beating UNC. Oh. I do too. Oh. Oh. That's a huge upset. Oh. My bad. So like yeah. 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 That's a savage pick. Providence right played very good against Nova, a number one seed, yeah. and Xavier, mm-hmm. a number one seed. Made it far in the Big East tournament against two number one seeds, mm-hmm. and I think that they give UNC a run for their money and knock them out early, and UNC. Goes home and gets ready for next year. I think no, a run for the money, but not the win. They're gonna, mm-hmm. they're gonna knock them off. I yeah, I tell you what, I got a run for the money, but a win, that's a dub. That's a, that's something. First of all, Texas A&M, the SEC, I'm already not impressed. So, mm. it's already. Oh yeah, we all agree. Providence is gonna yeah. beat Texas A&M. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Very. I'm, I'm coming out with the dark horse, and Providence wins. Well, with that case, I let's move on to the East Brand. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, hold well, on, one second. Out. We gotta finish out. We gotta pick our winner. I got San Diego State. <laughs> Or not San Diego State, I'm sorry. Yeah, you do. South Dakota State. <laughs> beating Xavier. I think they can have it. I, I think the they're a top. Xavier. Really? Yeah. That's I have tough. a good feeling about the Zags. I have them in the Final Four. Really? Well, I, have, I got you. Oh, I got you. Yeah, I, I got to go with the Wolverines. Yeah, big blue. I got the Wolverines <laughs> making the Final Four here. Because once Providence knocks off UNC, Michigan has the easiest road. They do. They will have a very listen, easy listen route. right here. He's smart. He's smart. He's a smart guy. He's a smart guy. Well, I had UNC beat in Michigan. Definitely. Yeah, that's what I have. I yeah, think it's that history of beating someone before. Like, I think that's, like, like mentally right there. So you it's have like, a rematch of the ACC championship okay in, the, in the Final Four. Yeah, that's yeah. Right. Hey, you know, we're only human. So yeah. does history repeat itself two weeks later? No, no. UNC got this one. It's going to come down to coaching now. Roy Williams. He can't get out of coach toys. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Like said, UNC really, takes the West. The UNC will take the West. They got, they got yeah. tape from playing them. So we all agree that Xavier's the first one seed. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I, would, I, I don't. For sure. You don't? I don't. I, think I have right. Xavier going to the Elite Eight. At least. Oh, I, wow. I, I actually know. I have Xavier in my suits. I, I like Florida State's play. I've probably got Florida State talking about them. But I got Florida We'll get to the one seed that I think is getting out. We'll get to there. Soon. So now. Last comments on the West. Kansas. Actually, it is. 
<laughs> yeah, that's that right. So we're going to the Midwest, or are we going to the well, East? Well, yeah, let's let's go west to the East. Let's go to East. You know, east. let's go coast to coast on this one. Rodford, Villanova. Uh, no. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. The, the Highlanders. Man, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Rodford. <laughs> No, yeah. that's Nova for sure. I mean, they're they're a great team. You know, they're uh, two seasons away from winning. So now the, the next ball. question is Virginia Tech, Alabama. Roll two time. two teams Roll that Alabama. have had some interesting seasons. Roll Alabama Hokies. Alabama is really hot right now, but Virginia Tech has more meaningful wins. They've beaten UVA and Duke. Also tougher conference. I mean, so yeah, now I've got actually, Virginia Tech winning over Alabama, yeah. and I've also got Virginia Tech beating Kansas I have, or beating Villanova. I have that as well. I got oh Virginia Tech over yes. Nova. Yes. yes, it's yes, almost sir. a catch You got a, you got a lot of yes. upsets. When you're the same, when you're a good team, it's almost a catch It's going to be the upset year of upset. Set years. So, oh, I, I agree. I think this young bull. There's gonna be so, so many. Well, I thought about it, but yeah, man, I gotta go. You talking about Colin Sexton? Colin Sexton. He's a yeah, beast. you can. A he beast. averaged 36 a game in the SEC tournament, but then he got blown out by Kentucky. Exactly. A lackluster you know, Kentucky team. If you do, a, if you, if I do, at. In comparison to their previous. I would say I would say Alabama's guards are just as good as VT's guards, but Kentucky has Kentucky has better guards than Al- way better guards than Alabama. But the the thing is, Alabama, other than Colin Sexton, what else they got? They, they have they, they got two other players they, willing to play. I would say they have three like, on they five. Have decent, That's what they, they have got. Pretty decent big men. Oh, they, well, they, they, they're they're going to go good. three on five, but if you're playing Virginia Tech, you're literally going three on nine because they're deep. They are exactly. very deep. And the reason I brought up Virginia Tech's wins is because they're used to playing those big games against teams like Duke and Question. UNC. And the, the years so before this first now, they just game in the tournament is going to be like a normal ACC play right. game. Like, like, Question: When you're a good team, does it? I'm starting to think when you, if saying you beat Duke, that, that's that's almost like you beat Duke for the name, but they have been playing. They beat Duke. Says they beat Duke. It's great competition. But that doesn't mean anything. It says their power of the NBA. What a time, boys! What a time, boys! Exactly. They beat UVA yeah. on the road, but they also beat Duke at home. Beating that U- so UVA easy. team at, on the road. And they beat UNC by 15. Exactly. Yeah. I have to we're we're talking about so the other the, the top three no, teams no, no, in their absolutely. conference. No, no, no. I'm right with you. We've had an off game. Hey, we're only human. We've we had all. <laughs> no, no, I'm saying, I, I feel like whatever play BT is like, nah, it's BT. I mean, well, again, it, being it's said, an 8-9, so this, it is a toss yeah. That being said, I feel like Tech takes this momentum. All the way to the sweet. This is not your old Virginia Tech. This is Buzz Williams. He's gotten some recruits. He's gotten some significant wins. And just talking about, like, uh, talent played, Virginia Tech has definitely played tougher teams in Alabama. And we talk but, about experience in March. They were here last year. Mm-hmm. Alabama was too, but Colin Sexton wasn't. Exactly. Yeah. So, Virginia Tech is a more complete team. I, trust, I mean, I, I agree. I trust Avery Johnson more than Buzz Williams. Ooh. Oh, that's Colin wild. Colin Sexton will tie But I, I have Bill Nova going quite far. Quite far. I you have them beating Nova. Yep. I don't okay, I, 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 I don't know about Nova. that. I don't beat Nova, but wow. I do have them beating VT. I tell you, if there was any team that could do it, maybe Virginia Tech could, because they are a very complete team. They shoot the three ball real well. And they, they rebound boards. excellent. They get great boards. Yeah. So I mean, the rebounds are what wins them these games. Absolutely. Yeah, and because of that it's game not against, taken into uh, consideration the game as against, much as it should be. Yeah, the game they had against Duke. Yeah. The only reason they won was because of an offensive rebound by Second Clark. chance exactly. points. Second yep. chance points. And that's what will win you a lot of games besides defense, obviously. Mm-hmm. Exactly. So, but, boys. Uh, but in that UVA win, I, I don't give them the full credit for that. I feel like you may beat themselves more than Tech beat them. Tech played Especially great towards defense and outdid them on rebounds by far. Right? You know what, what they I think they almost had four times as many rebounds. That reminds me of another old saying. <laughs> another old saying. Third old saying from Mark's Madness, all right? Games are not won. They're lost. Ah, that's deep. Yeah, it's, it's quite deep. It's very, it's very deep. So maybe, maybe there's a little something to it. Maybe, yeah, it wasn't their best. But um, at the same time, Tech definitely takes advantage. And they you know, they saw the moment, seized it, and that, that shows, went for the kill. That shows more about that Virginia Tech team than that UVA team. I would agree, totally. Yeah, yeah because true. UVA, you played yourself. You play oh. but <laughs> Congratulations. Great shows, words of DJ Khaled. It just shows how much <laughs> maturity that Virginia Tech, <laughs> had, that Virginia Tech team has yeah. because if they're going into hostile territory and they see, okay, these guys are not having it today. They're just not on their best game. Why don't we make a statement now? Why don't we not let this slip and just beat them yeah. here? Yeah, Hall, Hall missed that free throw. And then uh, I, I want to say, was it was the guy that shot the three, the crazy three at the end of the game? Like, that was it was just a bad pos- it was just a bad possession to towards the end of the game. Yeah. But it could and then it was a it was a uh, 
it was offense re- it was the defensive rebound they pushed the ad and they just let that one slip away from him. It was yeah. But that was just great play by Tech all around. It was a tough one. It's tough. Well, let's move on, guys. I think we talked about Tech and Bama enough. So West Virginia, Murray State. This is, is a lock. Is this a lock here? The Mountaineers again. Murray State got any chance? No, but Murray State like, got no chance of winning against West Virginia. You know they did have some upset. Murray State was in the tournament a year or two ago, and I think they did have an upset. So. Yeah, but Huggy, you can't go against Huggy. Oh, you can't. No, no. West Virginia was it. Carter, he's a fantastic player in the Big Twelve. Yeah. He's a senior. They got a lot of depth. Like a grown man. Press Virginia. He is grown man. <laughs> you know, fun fact about Carter. He actually, uh, he was a great baseball player in high school. And when he's being recruited, he's like he was oh, himself between right. two sports. And he said, whatever, whatever sport gives me the first scholarship, that's what I'm going with. And mm-hmm. W came calling. And uh, yeah, Bob Huggins was like, come play for me. He's fun a beast. fact about Carter, he's actually like 35. <laughs> 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 Shirted like 15 times. That's why he's so good. Whoa, 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 whoa. So you're saying he has experience. <laughs> exactly. So it's going to take a deep. All right, so like we've been going for over 20 minutes now. We have. We've already reset. Okay, burgers. we're good. Yeah. Right. Just so want to make sure. I'm sorry. Let's stop with this many people to get all these opinions in. Yeah, of course. Of course. But hey. That's what but as we look, we pulled it's out all it's the stops. Be. It's not just 20 minutes. It could be 40 minutes. It could be an hour, and we're giving you content. All right. <laughs> yeah. For March Madness, it's March Madness only comes out once a day. year. You know, arguably probably the greatest contest in college sports. And if not, I'd say it's up there uh, with the like, Super Bowl and the college football playoffs. I know that it, college, the college playoffs is three four teams. The, you know, this it, is it, there's it, a reason they call it madness. Was there anything more exciting in the past 12 months than that Rose Bowl, Sean? No, the World Series. actually, exactly. yes, there was a lot more exciting. <laughs> the World that. Series, yeah. the, World okay, the Super Bowl for 2017. Well, I mean, every sport has its yeah. thing, but I think nothing brings the nation to a sport yeah, more than more this than because, because, yeah. because any team because has a shot. Everybody, everybody has, has an input. Everybody has a bracket that they choose, and yeah. then people are off. I mean, ESPN's offering a car. They're offering ten thousand yeah, dollars. They're offering a million dollars. Berkshire Hathaway's like, offering a million dollars to an employee. Mm-hmm. Warren yeah, right? has his own. And in what world would Radford a sixteen? Have a chance to be Virginia. This one, this one. Big time. Yeah. 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 For, if, it, if we're gonna have a year where one seat is upset, Bradford's doing it. They're going yeah. the hot. They call them the Highlanders <laughs> for a reason. Bradford wins. I'm making a trip to Blacksburg. Is all I'm saying. We're all going down there to celebrate. Before the show, I forgot who it was. Someone brought up a point. Like, what if, what if Bradford upsets Villanova? And Tech beats Bama. Does Blacksburg just burn down at that point? <laughs> <laughs> Do they just run out of alcohol? They run out of bad dogs. <laughs> no, 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 more no, 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 no more slidewalk slammers. The whole city burns. <laughs> It would yeah. be even worse if Bradford won against Virginia Tech, too. Oh, my goodness. They would never can't, get that. We can't even get into that. No, we can't get into that. That's a whole other episode. <laughs> that, that'll be the end of the world. All right. <laughs> That's so, so West Virginia's a lot. Blacksburg won't burn down. Virginia will burn down. Yeah. <laughs> Bradford beats Very true. Tech. So West Virginia's a lock, and then we're going State to Wichita State and Marshall. So Marshall, Wichita. we're going back-to-back Wichita. West Virginia teams here, but Wichita. I Wichita. I Wichita. 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 Yeah, Wichita. 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 It's too deep. The Shockers. Deep. We are not Marshall in this one. Gotta go with Wichita. I like that one. There's some shock. Stole it from me. I'll bring some tears to my eye. I'll wait my turn. Actually, Florida and St. Barnum, which I have bodies. I have bodies. The bodies are hot. We are, we are jumping quick. <laughs> I have Florida. I have a good feeling about them for whatever reason. Like I said, with these my, Gators. I have them today. They are very balanced. They play a great team play. It's, it's, it's hard to beat these team. Gators, and I'm a Georgia fan. Matt Mobley. Matt Mobley is just on fire. Jalen Adams, future draft pick for Bonaventure. I think they get it done. I yeah, I would love really to see that upset. I think that's the, that's the 18 of you. I, I think, I think, I think the 18 goes 3-0 and in the first round. That's just my opinion. That's beautiful. I like that. I think, I think Davidson wins. I think Bonaventure <laughs> wins. And I think Rhode Island wins. Mm. I have Rhode Island losing. I have Rhode Island losing. We'll get to that, we'll get to that in a minute. We'll get that that's in a the whole nice quadrant. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Up. So Florida, I don't know. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if they don't go too far. But all right, so Texas Tech and SF Austin. See you at Austin. Oh, Texas. Austin. The Lumberjacks. Texas, Austin. Texas, Austin. Texas Tech's like, yeah. yep. they're looking too good right now. Yeah. They, I don't know. I they still drop some know. games. I'm going to grow this. That's what I can't get the money. They knocked us out two weeks ago. They shut down. What do you have when they played them? Yeah, I think they had over 100. All right, all right. Trey Young hasn't been on this planet for the past month and a half. Let's be real. No, it hasn't been hard to guard, bottle him up. You know, he's been bottled for Oklahoma. 
Yeah. I'll get, the, I'll get you, to them at the yeah, uh, you are right. You're fine. Hey, it's cool. We're all we're everywhere. We're like a ping pong ball bouncing around. Madness. Arkansas. But yeah, I think SF Austin is a great chance. They play a great Bob system. Bob. A lot of like a lot of seniors. They've been here before. They've made the tournament four times in the past ten years. And so, they also beat us the last time they were here. They did. They've won games here before. You know, I got them in the Sweet Sixteen. My thing for them is Woo! my thing for them is if Bonnie Woo! beats Florida, Damn. Bonnie beats SF Austin, but Florida beats SF Austin. Yeah, I'm up at Boston too. That's no. Boston See, Florida, Florida, I bet mean, that's what Boston beats Florida, but Barney beats but that's what Boston though. So far in this discussion, we haven't we haven't really favored an SEC team, have we? And what is Florida an SEC team? I got Bama coming out of the conference. This bracket. You know, I got to the final four. The final yeah, I got four. to the final four. I got Ooh, four. You uh, your SEC team. You're not in the money bracket, are you? Roll <laughs> nine. <laughs> it's funny because I got Florida in the final four. Roll tide. Mm. Florida. Did you, did you not did watch the SEC uh, tournament? I did not watch it. I don't, was, have uh, an, I don't have an SEC team in my Final Four. I, I would not, no. I Maybe can talk I, I just got to go with the spread of the conferences, and the one team that I feel like has the easier mm. path to get there, considering my other upsets that I see happening, I think it's got to be the Gators. That's why. That I don't know. Actually, I don't think they can distribute the ball way. enough. I feel like Florida that much is will It It all rests on a matchup we're getting to regarding Purdue. You're right. You know, well, actually, I have Butler being Arkansas. I do have Florida in my I elite eight, but I have no Butler. Arkansas, another SEC team, no. overrated. Uh, Butler. Butler. Butler knocks them all. Exactly. We got Purdue exactly. all the way up there, too. Yeah, I think I the Boilermakers like, are Purdue. Purdue. Like, they, they they fallen off a little four. bit, but Purdue, the Boilermakers, they got it. They I got them making well. it to the Elite Eight. Mm. I got Purdue, Purdue getting upset because every year there is always a – it seems like there is always a way that a 15 seems to beat a 2. You look at all the matchups against a 2 and a 15, the most likely team that I think has a chance I think, to lose I agree. Cal State, Cal, State Cal State Fullerton could do it. Exactly. And that 15 to 2 matchup, you always think looking at it on paper, uh, you know, that 2 seed's got such an advantage. But it's March. This I 15 mean, team. But the there's, also, there's also the Georgia State Cincy matchup that could. Yeah. It's one of the two. And in this equation, I like Purdue losing. Georgia State. I don't know. I just think I think Purdue. The one thing they probably have against them is lack of experience in this tournament. Purdue is not predominantly a basketball school, or really, as far as I'm concerned, any other athletics. So <laughs> they, they the are they even there. a school? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> they're, they're great. The only football guys. player I can name from there is Kyle Orton, baby. They're the Boilermakers. They're, they're the Boilermakers. Drew Brees, that's right. I've been that's saying that's right. Right. I'm, right. I'm saying recently. Drew Brees is old. He's he's, he's dust. Anyway, oh, but yeah. Purdue we're shoots the three ball well. They play great defense. They've had a great time in the Big Ten. An NBA caliber point guard running that team. Absolutely, I think they can make a team. All right. So, out of this East bracket, who do we have in the Final Four? Villanova, Florida, Roll Tide, Purdue, the Boilmakers. Good God, we're all over the place, aren't we? If, yes, I got we Butler are. beating College, College State, but Purdue beating Butler. I got West Virginia. That's a bull pick. I was I just about to them. ask if anyone had them. Yeah, West Virginia. I have the 16. I have Nova. I have Nova. lost a tough one against the Jayhawks in the Big 12. I'm going to roll with the Tech beats Nova, though. I am going to roll with I that. Like that pick. I I'm just going to say, pick. Buzz Williams, they catch He's fire in the Wildcats. They, they slip up because they go in too confident. It's, I don't know. It's a situation of don't let them get hot. Yeah. So they get hot, they will burn you down. They get Tech can shoot anybody out the gym, to be honest. They yes, they I got just yeah. I got for upsets. I got Wichita State. Just Wichita State can make a run. They, once well, again, great shot. They're, the they're, they're always they always there. They do they finally get some great tournament yeah. play. Yeah. I only have two upsets. I stayed up Austin and Butler. Mm. Yeah, I got Cal Ron State Baker. Fullerton and I got That's actually my one big one. I got Butler, Bonaventure. And Tech beat yeah. Nova. That, those are my two, three big upsets. I got to ask FF Austin going to Sweet 16. So. Man, wow. I, but I think this is the year that, it, like, if there's going to be a ton of upset, upsets, this is going to be the year for it. I feel you say that now, but we'll it's see in a couple yeah, days. And then we're going to get to the bracket, right. and only the high seeds are going to win. This is going to be one versus Down the line. Like, the high seed one. always this, wins. These bracket aren't really... I don't, I don't really like anybody. They're right? not really that. In, other yeah, than Villanova, so I don't like they're anybody. not that impressed. Yeah, this I don't like, just, like There's, all, there's like a like bunch it. of solid teams around the board, but there's no like team where you have to be like, okay, watch out for these mm -hmm. guys. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So wrapping up the East and moving on to the Midwest. Let's start with uh, Kansas and Penn. Does uh, mm. University of Pennsylvania, the Ivy it's League champions, IBP, yeah. do they have a shot? No. Kansas does choke. They're gonna get out coached. 
Mm. All right, so we're gonna take a slight break here. It's the. Oh, we're gonna keep going. Never mind. Sorry. It's the experience of Kansas that I feel like just carries them over. Jayhawks, yeah. you just feel like they've right they gotten now. hot, man. They got hot. Penn just hasn't faced any big name teams. Definitely. I, I mean, mean other than Harvard, Harvard. I mean, it was impressive that they beat Harvard. Harvard, Harvard. Harvard, 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 Harvard makes Harvard. it every year. Yeah, yeah. you're right. They literally yeah. make it every oh, year. Oh, Cornell, Big Red. Oh yeah. Come on. Oh man. yeah, for real. Cornell. I mean, do we even take Ivy League serious? No, no, no. Not at all. Not at all. But it's still. He used to win insanity at, at Harvard. He used to miss one side of the All right, so everyone agrees, Kansas. That's a wrap. Seen Hall, NC Ooh. State. Seen Hall, NC State. Seen Hall, NC State. The Wolf Pack. What? Yeah. I don't know. Another ACC team. Surviving all advance. Up. All the way up. He's got them to the Elite Eight. <laughs> this That's man is They just haven't really been doing much this year. Like, Jimmy V under the radar. They're going to be coming up on, all right? Maybe Seen they're home. gonna do it. I mean, Jalen Rose yeah, picked Seen Hall to win it all. So I obviously, have, he sees something in that's him. Not, yeah, that's the idea. <laughs> oh, no, he is insane. I have NC State winning at least one game every year there in the tournament, but I had them losing to uh, Kansas after they beat Seen Hall. Fair enough, fair enough. I like NC State. Yeah, they got yeah, the beat Kansas. Kind of mm -hmm. What? I have them uh, going got, all the yeah. way <laughs> to the Elite Eight. Yeah. NC State. They've been NC obviously State the Wolf. Beat, beating Kansas. The dangerous number one Jayhawks. A dangerous third The Big 12 champs. Yes. Consecutively in the tournament for 24 seasons? seasons 26. 26 now, yeah. yeah. The cockiness of fall. More more Big 12 basketball championships than the rest of the conference combined. Of course. Mm. I, I, I think that's a uh, bold call, Jack, and we'll leave it at that. So moving on. That's Clemson. a bold state in cotton. That's a bold show. state in cotton. Let's see if Let's it pays see if off. It pays off. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Clemson, New Mexico State. New Mexico yeah, State, the Cowboys. You just can't mess with the ACC, man. New Mexico State is a cool mascot. Can't remember, are they the Aggies as well? Yeah. That's what they are. The other Aggies that no one talks yeah. about. Anyway, as much as I hate the ACC, I got to go with the Tigers on this one. Yeah, I, I just too. don't think they're just, they're just big I think enough to beat Clemson. Like, Clemson's been really, they've been kind of like, I wouldn't say like, a shocker. They've been really consistent this year, and they yeah, always I, find a way to stick around. Yeah, and I they're good. They always, like this they always find a way to make their games close. I think mm -hmm. New Mexico. I have to have it like an upset, and that's the one I believe in the most in this side of the bracket. Yeah, that, in this side of the bracket. Okay. New Mexico State. That's fair. I, I can know. see that. It, on, this is a game I can see going either way. Clemson and ACC team. That is um, very true. Another team that's wrapped up in that uh, investigation, unfortunately. Yeah. But uh, that's yeah. another time. Yeah. Yes, they oh, are. Oh, yeah, man. Not, anyway, but uh, a lot of seniors. They've had a couple good solid wins, you know, close losses and a tough, tough conference. I think Clemson and the Tigers, they, they go ahead and go. Okay. That's, right. At least we, we, got well, we got Auburn here. Auburn. Yeah. Auburn. Yeah. Former Auburn. BC Auburn. player, Samir Dowdy down there. Did he play this six man, yeah, he's the sixth Wait, man this year. Really? Yes, I didn't he know he was in Auburn. Auburn. He's playing very They're well, high. too. Like, yeah. Yeah. The record's really damn good. Yeah. Auburn, yeah. Auburn is a super Have we heard anything about yeah. this Charleston yeah. yeah. no. team that's anything spectacular? Not really. Only The only bad thing about Auburn is they did lose to Alabama. They met, I that mean, was off buzz beater, though. Buzz beater, though. Yeah. I mean, Colin Sexton. Sexton yeah. 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 Sexton. Yeah. Sexton. Yeah. You know, there are going to be those kinds of freak moments, and that's what I feel like gives them, you know, But Auburn is, Auburn is good, and I, I have them winning. They are. Let's get our big blue man a chance to get an input on this. right there with the Colonial Athletic Champions. Whoa! The CIC, the old VCU conference. It's a cool homage. Wow. I'm a fan. Yeah, that's okay, cool, though. He's got, got, he got the bust of bracket. That's the bust of bracket. <laughs> yeah, when all of us are sitting at home <laughs> crying because our brackets are like in 10,000th place, he'll be over here. Yeah, I'm number one. I'm about to win a million dollars. <laughs> no big deal. Yeah, I, I knew it the whole time. They said I was crazy. crazy. <laughs> they, not, like, they said, they said, they said it would never happen. First half of the um, bracket. Yeah, so I'll be there with you until the end. And then yeah. I'll start crying. Dun, 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 <laughs> not see Georgia State in the final four. Come on. Dun. All right. No, <laughs> this guy. All right. TCU. And there's a mistake. I can't be being played oh, no. tonight. Or, uh -uh. yeah, not tonight at 9. I so. have the Q's winning tonight and against TCU. I have like the Q's winning tonight at TCU winning. Big Orange. Yeah. Yeah. I got the Q's winning Jim Jim They just can't beat Michigan State. I, have yeah, yeah, yeah. I got the Sun years. Devils. <laughs> <laughs> the Sun Devils not only winning tonight, but against TCU. I haven't heard... Against whoever else is going to make Sweet 16 and making their way the to the Final Four. I haven't heard ASU. I haven't heard anything for Arizona Keep State. Keep an eye out on it. Since James Harden. Jack, you're just an all over the place today. You think Herm Edwards is going to be out there? Come on. Yes, he probably <laughs> yeah. will be. If they make it to the 
Final Four? You think they're gonna fly out there? I think you don't want it. You just don't want the ACC to win. That's all. I definitely don't want the ACC. That's the only reason why you think Arizona State. You're wild, dude. You are. Anyone else has just as good of a chance of having a perfect bracket as I do. As of right now, yes. I don't care. So what you're saying is there's still a chance. <laughs> no, I, they, 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 they I don't care who they comes they out of this play. Behan might they, coach you, even though I don't really like Behan, but he might coach you two wins, though. Well, no, yeah, Jim Behan is like a lot of experience. With yeah. that Final Four team. I don't care who comes but what, out of this play. What happened after that? Game, uh, but Behan, what else did you agree with you? I do too. At the Melo, what else does Syracuse have to their name? I mean, other than Fab Mello. I mean, what is he known for? Being being so dumb he couldn't read? And averaging 18, 18 bucks a game in the G League? Like, Come on, man. Yeah. Reading's not everything. That's the way they Oh. Boo. Boo. There's always two scenes. All right. On to the next match. On to the next. <laughs> Michigan State. Bucknell. Bucknell has Ooh. had some upsets in this tournament before. They've been here no. before. Go Sparty. Go Sparty. Go Sparty. Go Sparty. I got this. Only so. this game. One of my brackets oh, like Michigan, Michigan State, State winning. Uh, uh, Michigan State Miami is, is picking Michigan State? Yeah, but I got them losing to U of R. Oh! oh. U of R. U of R is not even in the tournament. U of R. Just the intensity of it, man. Go Spiders! I love it. We don't talk about the Spiders here. We don't talk about the University of uh, Henrico County. (laughs) (laughs) This is the one bracket I see myself having Uh, MSU with an early exit (laughs) against MSU. So I do have. I think they're going to be the Cinderella team of this tournament. I did not see. I did not have. I had MSU going to, I believe, as my champion two years ago, and I have not learned my lesson with them. I have them going to the Elite Eight. Who you have going to the Elite Eight? MSU. That's a good one. I like that. Tom Izzo, he's tough to beat in March. He has a strong team. I think going to the final four. A really, like, literally strong team. Like, literally. I mean, they're they're good from, like, one to five. Yeah. They are good. And Tom Izzo is a great coach. Yes, Absolutely. A lot of experience. But let's talk about that 8-10 team. Oh, absolutely. Those Rhode Island Rams. I think they beat the Sooners. I I think they beat the Sooners. I think they beat the Blue Devils. And then they lose to the Spartans. I think, I, I think they're I think weak. They beat Spartans. Going because they I, I nearly lost well. to, to VCU, and they, but lost they won to, by eight. That's not okay. Well, <laughs> then they lost to Davidson. I think they lose to Oklahoma in the first round. I just think they're weak because they had a great season. I think they're tired. But the only ranked team from the A10 this this uh, but whole you got to right? look. They're they're com- they're so deep. They, have, they are. They are. They have like six guards who could all start on a D1 team. Exactly. They have six big men. So if their big men get in trouble, they have guys just steadily coming off the bench. And then they're literally all about guard twelve. Play. They like they'll play ten to twelve players I every think. game. And in my opinion, if you bottle up Trey Young, Oklahoma crumbles. Exactly. I just, yes. I just don't. Yes. Yes. That, I just don't think they're gonna be able to bottle up Trey Young. Like Marsh Madness no. is where a superstar is really showing that we do. Yes, like, Trey Young, Trey Young is a superstar. No. I don't no. care. He's 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 a superstar. He's gonna go a top ten draft pick. Like no one in college basketball has done what he's done, and it's le- unless you're talking about Steph Curry in the past long time. And I think that Oklahoma is gonna beat Rhode Island and possibly beat Duke. Let's I have Duke over winning here with the so, roll in his eyes. I don't know. You that's such a bold, about it? bold plan. You have drank too. You're you're too you're too bought in. You're Come on. you are a I'm lot of Oklahoma. Let's yeah, go. all right. I'm an I'm an Oklahoma boy, but it's just like that's the thing. You're talking to your point about if you bottle up Trey Young. What else does this Sooners team have? Nothing. Nothing. Yeah. And that's been the story for the University of Oklahoma. Good this is your right. right. This is right. team's got a good diversity. Of this is an OU team Oklahoma that some people say Russell shouldn't Westbrook. even be here. That's really all they have. Russell Westbrook. Blake Griffin. <laughs> Blake Griffin too. That was Sam nice. Bradford. I'm talking about like Troy Aikman. the city of Oklahoma right now. Oh, yeah, like, what else State do they have? They, they Baker like Mayfield. Down. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I, I can go Baker keep going. Baker going to come in and drop a three. Honestly, he could. <laughs> <laughs> He'll do better. He'll do better. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, saying, I, I'm literally yeah, watching. Yeah, 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 Trae Young goes, team, for, more, Trae Young Young goes, goes for more than 20, then Rhode Island's about to lose. I think that if, even if Trey Young drops 40, they still don't have enough. They don't. Because Rhode Island's going to put up 80 on them. His points don't equal to win. They do not. He just scores a lot. His points don't equal to wins. Well, it used to be when earlier in the season when he averaged a double double, the Sooners were undefeated, and then he can sit. He's been doing that, but to a less of a degree, with like maybe like 14 points and then like 10 assists. 
and they, they just can't get it done. Like 10 turnovers. And they play terrible defense. Oh, you plays awful defense. And Rhode Island ball. has suffocating defense. Yeah. They force yeah. turnovers a lot. Sure, exactly. Yeah. And Oklahoma has a lot of turnovers. But and then again, like Oklahoma, they play really big. They play all the teams they play are all like really good teams. They haven't played a team like Rhode Island, which is like a very good team. But I just don't think that they're We're like talking that about same an caliber. OU team I don't, that got oh. swept by Oklahoma State. I don't. I don't got think swept Oklahoma by has a big man that can contain Texas Andre nice Barry. Right. I don't have a big man that can score. Rhode Island, the road will probably lose to Texas too. To be honest, I don't. I don't I'm see. A little, a little triggered right now by Trey Young. I think he should not go to the draft. <laughs> Stay another year, please. But he's going to be top five, so he's going to chase that money. Exactly. I, I think he's yeah, already getting NBA stars. Like all about that. Dude, <laughs> this is the match. Match. straight cash, like, homie. I think, I think he's a great player, and I Detroit, think he should go. But I right. don't. See, Oklahoma doesn't have a big man that can contain Andre Barry. So exactly. even if the guards don't have a good game, Andre goes for like twenty five, and they they win. They will pick up the slack. So all right, so we're split on this. I'd say about fifty fifty between. Oh, you and URI? Yeah, yeah. Yep. we'll see. We'll just see what happens. It'll be a good game. It'll be a good game regardless. Well, very wise. All right, so Iona. Didn't Iona upset Duke a couple years back? It was, I might think of a different Wait, was, small team. I do have Duke. Was that? I, I, I do remember Iona Duke got upset in the first round. Yeah, by a 15. That was two and 15. The year before they got yeah. on, like, uh, Tyus Jones. Yeah, like, yeah. They, they lost to, uh, it was, Mar- it was, uh, what did, what did was you, you just say? It was UConn. It was, UConn. it was the Kimball Walker okay. UConn team. They beat him. Right. In the Wait, first round? Right. Yeah. Nah, I'm thinking something else. No, you, no, definitely something else. I'm thinking like 2012. Really, really I'm thinking yeah. 2012. It was, really, so it was 2012. It was my, it was my freshman year high school. I remember I was a watching game. from Georgia. I just don't know what school it was. Is it Emory? Like, literally, like, no, after yeah. that game, almost every <coughs> bracket in America was done. Yeah. yeah. Literally, yeah. almost every bracket. Anyway, this is my point. Yeah, that's my pick. I always say, do business with Mercer. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Mercer. Right. Mercer. Right. Mercer. 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 That's what it was. Oh, Mercer, yeah. Not Marquette. But Iona yeah, has been in the tournament before. They, I think they've won at least a game before. And uh, school you're talking about is Lehigh. Oh, Lehigh. That's what. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate it. Lehigh. So we were close. You're just going to have a game. Beating Oklahoma in the second round, but I had them losing to Michigan State. I think Michigan State. Beat you know what? Yeah. Let's go around with our final four picks. Yeah, let's oh, do that. Right. Well, first off, I just want to talk about Auburn for a quick second. I think if there's anyone who has a chance to beat Kansas, it is Auburn. I I think they do, but I don't see them getting past Kansas. I think Kansas beats them. Fair enough, fair enough. Michigan State or Duke? I had to see you hope you. Michigan State. That's, 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 that's I have Rhode Island beating decision. Duke, that's but I have yeah. Michigan State beating Rhode Island. Interesting. I don't have either of them. That's mm-hmm. hard. That's the, I feel, oh, get out of here. Get out of here. I really have to see the whole beat against us. Tom Izzo and Marks just have to beat against us in Kansas, too. In so. one of my brackets, I have uh, Michigan State being Duke, and the other one, I have Duke beating Michigan State. Is this the bracket that we're most invested in? Because we have yeah. Kansas, Michigan, and Duke in here, so a lot of like premier programs, I like, without, and only yeah. one of them I can mean, come out. I mean, you can't forget Auburn. And you are right. Sure. And, and you are right. And you are right. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, is this our best bracket? I'd say this is the best uh, quarter yeah. of the whole tournament. The West okay. and the Midwest, they're both pretty good. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. We'll come back to this. The South isn't really that much of a laughing stock either, though. Uh, uh, the South, South and West. No, the East is just very lackluster. Yeah. But I, I think the Midwest is definitely going to be the most competitive. So I have Kansas coming out of this bracket. What does everyone else got? I have Kansas. 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 Michigan State. Oh, Michigan State. Michigan State. Michigan State. Michigan State. Wow. I'm going to have to go Duke. Arizona State. I like the that. The Sun Devils, <laughs> baby. I was going to say, Jack, you're being real quiet over there for a second. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. I'm, I'm fully confident in this. I was Jack, just wanting to be the shock factor. I, I am going to, like, text you so much during this game. Like, every time, every time they go Watch them lose first. Or they're not even going to make it to the play. Syracuse wins tonight. Yeah. <laughs> and then your bracket is done. No, your bracket Your whole bracket's gone. It shows how much I care about it. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like right. a real football guy. He doesn't care about his bracket. So, all right, so national, champ, national championship. What do we got? Let's go down the line. Final four. Like so we all, we all announced this. Did we? Yeah. Well, we just talked about it. Right, well, Let's go about it in order. Let's do a little quick recap about our final four. We're going to start here. I've got Arizona against Michigan with Michigan winning that game to go to the championship game. And then I got um, Bama and Kansas and Kansas winning that game. So it would be Michigan and Kansas for the championship. Who do you got winning it? I have Kansas, so. Unfortunately. You got a score for us? What? You yeah. got a right score. Yeah. You got a right score. Give us a score. What do you think? Oh, uh, 78 to 63. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. A blowout Whoa. in the national Dude. championship. Right, I well, like it. I like it. We want to roll with the, with the uh, final fours. We'll come back to the final and then we'll come back to the final yeah, score. Yeah, I think we should. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, uh, I think uh, yeah. for well, sake. I have the, the uh, ACC championship rematch in the final four here with the 
Tar Heels and the Cavaliers, and then I have Purdue, Michigan State on the other side. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. All right, let's keep it rolling. Got a little bit of a mix-up. I got UVA and Michigan on the left side, and I got West Virginia, Michigan State on the right side. Let's go, Mountaineers. All right, what we got, Daquan? I got UVA, USC, Mm. championship game. I got Wichita State and Michigan State. Wow. wow! The shocker, I'm, shock in the world. I like that. But my, my oh, yeah, let yeah. me t- we'll tell you my my finals after we come back to it. So I got something a little crazy, just a little different. I got Cincinnati, huh. UNC, mm. Purdue, and then Kansas. Okay. Okay. Right. Okay. Let's keep rolling, Sean. Uh, I have. Uh, I'm just looking at this out. <laughs> I have Villanova. Ooh. And Purdue. Uh-huh. And then I have Duke and Kansas. Ooh. Final four. What's your final four? Oh, if I'm not doing the lead eight, my bad. Oh, so. <laughs> you, hear, you on the show with us? You yeah. taking that? <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's just hard. Getting it's just, bored with March Madness over it's here. Just, it's just hard. It's just <laughs> hard. Not enough, right, right. March, March Sadness over here. March Sadness. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. So, yeah, so I have Duke, Villanova, mm-hmm. and then uh, UNC. And Arizona. Wow. All right. I Arizona. Like, I the like Wildcats. I got this being the Duke year Vegas losers. You're making my money. Vegas, baby. I got UVA, UNC. Wow. wow. And I've got Florida Sun Devils. Wow. ASU. So he has like a very, <laughs> a very, I have one, like a very basic, like, very reasonable. One, two, we're we're going to come back like, to Jack after, after we get our last prediction. Yeah, it's just like, all right, I'm trying to let my cousin fill this one out. <laughs> <laughs> Which mascot would win in this one? one? <laughs> yeah, I based it all off of mascots. Yeah. Yeah. Some of would definitely be the, the orange. Like, yeah. Right? All right, Adam, what we got? Um, final four, UVA and Gonzaga, mm. and Nova and MSU. That's a lot of, a lot of top seeds here. Games. A lot of top seeds. Yeah, I see one. myself doing I'm, it every year. I don't know I if I'm going to go. I might change my name to MSU instead of Duke. Oh, oh my god. I'm head. thinking about it. I'm Come just on, like, Sean. Can uh, we stick to something? Can we? Yeah, I'm trying to make bread, man. I just want to make bread. I'll see. My fan don't want me to say Duke versus UNC for. But I really put Michigan State. Of North Carolina. Michigan State. Literally. This is four. Four. <laughs> so, so talking about Vegas. Do you know how many people tune into a Duke versus USC? Yeah. Honestly, so I, feel like, I feel like I feel like it would be less people if it was like West Virginia, Michigan, because it's yeah. those are two teams nobody ever sees. Duke and UNC. It's like. Every time. Okay. I mean, but it's like, like you know, every time, 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 time this year, Duke UNC, great. Yeah. yeah. I mean, other people watch it. Fans. It'll be the fourth time we've seen that matchup. But people still. But it's regarded it. as one of the best rivalries. Because it's a chance. More people will watch it if Arizona State was in it. A hundred percent. That's why I'm doing it. No, but if we're gonna talk about Vegas, how many people watched Duke versus Butler when well, Kyle Zingler was there? Yeah, when it was Gordon Hayward. A Gordon Hayward. Anyway, but uh, so Jack, you brought up Vegas. Do you know who the Vegas favorite was to win last year? Off the top of your head. Off the top of my head, I don't. It was the Duke Blue Devils, and we all know what happened there. Oh, so, yeah. I'm just saying, saying, Vegas, 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 Vegas knows. Duke lost last but Vegas year, doesn't really. know. So I'm just uh, saying, I feel like people are going to lose a lot of money in Vegas off of making these bets off of teams they see going far. Because the teams themselves are going to see themselves going that far. I literally have like 15 upsets in this bracket because I see it happening. Exactly. And it's just at that point where I've seen so many marches come by where I fill out a bracket and I think, all right, yeah, all these top seeds, they're they're, they're really going to do it. And then they're gone within the first round. So, you know, I feel like this year i got to take some smaller teams to make it to the Final Four. Yeah, good right. for you. Good for you. Were there a lot of this last time. year? I know not year ago there was, but last year. Last year there Especially was in an ever-so-changing NCAA format where so many players are leaving for the league at earlier ages. That's very true. Anything can happen in March now. It's it really, really not just a cliche. Yeah. It's a fact. All right, let's go back around. We'll reverse it, and then we'll... i got a quick question for Jack here, all right, Jack? I think there's yeah. a question that... Panel, myself for sure, and our viewers here at home want to know why Arizona State. Why are you so sold on them coming to the Final Four? Had to pick one team, and you know the odds they're facing. They got to go against Izzo if they went out tonight and beat TSU or beat TCU. Okay. Then they got to face Rody. I thought I was a dummy for having Bama in the Final Four, but you really changed. Oh yeah, that. we're oh, talking yeah. about an eleven okay. seed okay. going to the. My whole problem. We're talking about an eleven seed, but eleven seeds can be the most dangerous in a bracket. 
my whole problem with ASU isn't that I don't think they can win. It's that they have to e win to even get a berth in the tournament. Well, well yeah, and yeah, and that this is more games for them. It's gonna be tired. So you yeah. saying so that Arizona State will go on a VCU esque run? A hundred percent. VCU, VCU was the one team they did it. I one hundred percent to see it happen. Sixty percent of the time, it works every time. Hey, <laughs> Jay Billis. 2012, or 2011, said VCU doesn't belong to the tournament <laughs> at all. Yeah, yeah, Steve Kurtz tweeted that out. Yeah. That was, that was, so, oh yeah, after he learned how are y'all going to laugh at me right. when this Arizona State team has just as much of an odds at making it to the Final Four as VCU did then? Mm -hmm. VCU plays better, play better defense. I got to take a shot to the moon. I'm taking Arizona State here. You took a shot to Mars. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're not even the same. I'll take it as far as I can take it. You took a shot to the moon. Yeah, you want to have some Milky Way. I don't know what. All right, let's about. let's give some. Right. Uh, you want to do national final. championships? National. Yeah. We're gonna score. So we work our way back around. Adam starts right. off. National championship. The University of Virginia beats Villanova 77-72. Oh, that's my game. Wow. Same score. Same score. Not same pick. Okay. So. I got UVA playing Florida. I think that's where Arizona State's right ends when they play with the Gators. Again, another wild card pick. But I've got the Gators beating UVA 80 to 76. Wow. I, that's bold. I have Duke beating Arizona also 77, 76 to 70. You know what? I got I got a pick so bold. I'm gonna go last. That's all right. The panel here. That's yeah, fine. Nick Rasper. Okay. Right. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Hey, Quan, let's keep it rolling. I got USC. Versus Michigan State, UNC winning, 82 77. That's a good score. Yeah. I got score. UVA Five versus points. Michigan State, mm. and there's no scoring in this game. 63 61. Huh. Final score UVA like wins. That. Highly uh, defensive uh, game. Like that. Like, uh, that's a UVA esque. Yeah. That's a UVA game. type ball game. That's for sure. That's what I, that's what I see. Will. Uh, yeah, me and uh, Daquan have the same exact pick. I have the Tar Heels going back to back over the Spartans. But the score is 77-72. Why not? Why not? I got Kansas over Michigan 78-63. Still, <laughs> <laughs> it's gone. Oh, thanks. So, all right, bring the bring the lighter fluid in the uh, the lighter. Let's go to flames. All right, so got your bold, the bold, You got a bold pick. I got a bold pick. BCU is going all the way. All right, hear me out on this. Every 8-10 team that finished above them is somehow going to get the flu, whatever. They can't go, so BCU has to go. UFO is and that's going to motivate BCU so much that Justin Tillman will not get a double-double. He won't get a triple-double. He will get a quadruple-double <laughs> every game and will BCU to a championship. Are you on Homie, if you're trying to make me look stupid, BCU AD already came out and said they won't play in the postseason. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right. Well, in all seriousness, dreams aside, uh, I got UNC and I got Kansas. I got Kansas winning. Mm. 73 to 80. Ooh. Okay. It's been a while. Kansas has been a team. Jayhawks finally get one. Rock. Finally. Rock. Finally. Rock. For a long Rock. time. Since 08, I believe. <laughs> so, the three of us have UVA, correct? Yeah, so we got. I, I got him in the championship, yeah. and I'll have him winning. Me and him. Only have because the they lost the yeah. Gators. I got the Gators. Well, I don't have you. Yeah, I had right. them winning. Like I, I don't understand. Shots. Go to the next galaxy, baby. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> Jack, you're the, the wild, wild card of this UVA panel. UVA. Hey, someone's got it. He's beyond He's a wild card. I'm a wild card. <laughs> but yeah, so I run off great. So right. We got a couple. Uh, we got a couple of UVAs. We got you uh, a player on their team. Anyone pick Sparty? Uh, you name a player on their team. I really can't. <laughs> Adam did a thing. We got yeah, two uh, UNCs yeah. right yeah. here. Yeah. I haven't paid yeah. in-depth attention, but I've been paying some attention. A lot of people have the Spartans. I just know their coach was on. I have a good feeling. He has them. I have them. He has them. Yeah. Who else has Michigan State? I don't think Wichita State will have a nine. I do. I do. But I like Wichita. I like Wichita. I mean, because the they lose round two. Wichita State there. They're the Utah State. As long as they can be Billy, Go Sun Devils. But we talk about conference champions. Tonight's Wichita the story. Great ride, boys. <laughs> they the lost game hasn't even happened game. yet. They're not even confirmed the in the bracket. <laughs> but I don't want to have a have a to take the shot. What do you mean? No, I can go. I'm sorry. See you And just just a score update. It's halftime in the first playing game. NC Central, Texas Southern. 
Uh, Texas Southern is up 36-26 at halftime. So let's see. Are, are ASU and Syracuse playing right now? No, 9-10. 9-10. 9-10 tonight. 9-10. So at, 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 11, at 11.30 tonight. When, I'm going to be a guy who grabs Arizona, in our group chat. When Arizona loses, Arizona <laughs> State loses, everyone, everyone will chat. be sending about 50 text messages <laughs> to this man telling him that his bracket is done already. And the, the Embrace the bait, guys. Started. I'm embracing the bait. But what if? What if? He wins. Exactly. exactly. What if, what if Our group chat was so silent. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, you guys, I'll be in there celebrating. And, and all of us will be able to just be I'm like, I'm just in the gift mode. Just yeah. in the gift mode. I'll be cheering, and everyone else will just be like, get out. Get God. out of here. Things I'm used to. Arizona. Uh, what if Jack's on something here? Mm. What if I end up too. getting the perfect bracket? Mm. Well, uh, you sure you're sure taking it, uh, you're taking it out. I'll let someone drive the car around. The Drinks on you, Mom. <laughs> yes. Win a million dollars. I think, uh, <laughs> Jack's taking us out. <laughs> I'll fly us out. At least give us all a dollar. I'll show you guys how to gamble. Give me a dollar, man. Give me a dollar. Well, I'm hitting on the group chat, like, yeah. Oh, yeah, what am I rent, dude? I'm not rent, dude. Hey, man, you don't need all that money. Let me hold some. All right. Awesome. UVA was our top pick from our panel. UNC coming in yep. second, and then yeah. Kansas, and then the lone. Yeah. These guys. Um, the lone Gators. Lone Gators. Lone Gators. You devil. I'm still blessed me. I'm not, I'm you. I can't even do the Gator Chop right now because I would just burn my blood. That would. I wouldn't like that. So once again, this is uh, Ramped Up. I'm Sean Boyce, and uh, tune in next week.